Hello, grade 10s. In today's lesson, we will be looking at the definition of three trigonometric ratios in right angle triangles. In grade 10, all of our trig will happen in right angle triangles. Let's revise what we know about these triangles. A right angle triangle has a 90 degree angle. The hypotenuse is the longer side of the triangle and is opposite the right angle. Pythagoras' theorem states that the sum of the squared sides is equal to the squared hypotenuse. In other words, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. A quick way to refer to sides of a triangle is to give them the names of the angle opposite them. The side opposite the angle labeled capital A is called small a. The side opposite the angle labeled capital B is called small b. And the side opposite the angle labeled capital C is called small c. Trigonometry can be done in separate right angle triangles as well as the Cartesian plane. When we work on the Cartesian plane, we can use the x and y axis to help naming the sides of the triangle. The side parallel to the x-axis is called x, and the side parallel to the y-axis is called y. The hypotenuse is called r for radius. This means that Pythagoras' theorem will be x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Trigonometry deals with the relationship of sides and angles in triangles. This means that we will be working with ratios. Ratio compares two values of the same unit and can be written in two ways. 2 is to 3 is an example of a ratio. We can also write this ratio as 2 over 3. Remember 2 over 3 is the same as 2 divided by 3. In trigonometry, we work mostly with fractions. The relationships in trigonometry are between the angles and the sides. For this reason, we give the sides of the triangle's names according to where they are in relationship to the chosen angle. Let's look at the triangle ABC to help explain this. Picture yourself standing at angle B. The first side we can label is the hypotenuse. It is always opposite the right angle. Side AC is opposite to angle B. We will call that side the opposite side of angle B. Side BC is next to or adjacent to angle B. We will call side BC the adjacent side to angle B. Remember we said that trigonometry is about relationships between sides and angles. Let's see what happens to the relationship if we picture ourselves standing at angle A. The hypotenuse is always the line that is opposite the right angle. Line BC is opposite to angle A. And line AC is adjacent to angle A. Now that we know how to label a triangle according to relationships, let's look at our three main trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent. These are more commonly known as sine, cos and tan. In order to use these, we first need to specify which angle we are working from. Let's use angle A again. We're going to start by giving angle A the size of theta. Theta in trigonometry is very much like x in algebra. It takes the place of an unknown angle and represents the size of the angle. The most common symbol used to represent size of angles are alpha, beta, and theta. From now on, instead of referring to angle A, we're going to talk about theta. Let's use it to define sine, cos, and tan. Sine of theta is equals to the opposite side, BC, divided by the hypotenuse, AB. Cos of theta is equals to the adjacent side AC divided by the hypotenuse AB. Tan of theta is equals to the opposite side 
BC divided by the adjacent side AC. Now that we've established the relationships and ratios from angle A, let's do it from angle B. We're going to give angle B the size alpha. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. AC is opposite alpha and BC is adjacent to alpha. This means that sine of alpha is equal to opposite which is AC over hypotenuse which is AB. Cos of alpha is equal to adjacent which is BC over hypotenuse which is AB. And tan of alpha is equal to opposite, which is AC over adjacent, which is BC. Now that we've looked at two examples for each ratio, you will see the pattern. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. These ratios need to be learned off by heart. One easy method is to remember the acronym, so Katoha. This reminds us that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about trigonometry on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.